The debate between liquid cooling and traditional air cooling remains a critical point of discussion. Each approach brings its own set of advantages and challenges, and understanding these is essential for making informed decisions. Liquid cooling is widely recognized for its superior efficiency and its ability to handle higher heat densities, making it an attractive option for high-density data centers. However, its adoption is often met with resistance due to several key factors. The higher upfront costs associated with liquid cooling systems can be a significant barrier, particularly for smaller operations. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential risks of leaks and various single points of failure, which could lead to catastrophic failures if not properly managed. The complexity of implementing and maintaining liquid cooling solutions also adds to the hesitancy, as it requires specialized knowledge and skills. Traditional air cooling, while less efficient in terms of energy usage, has long been the standard in data center cooling. Its reliability and ease of management make it a favored choice, particularly for facilities that prioritize simplicity and dependability and do not have extreme high-density heat loads. Air cooling systems are generally less expensive to install and maintain, and the technology is well understood, reducing the learning curve for data center staff. The decision between liquid and air cooling should be driven by a thorough needs analysis of the specific cooling requirements for each data center. By balancing heat density requirements, efficiency, cost, and reliability, data centers can achieve an optimal cooling strategy. Hi, I'm AI Edward. Follow us for more tips. EPI, protecting your interest.